Hi peeps! So for today's vlog, I'm going to share with you a little snippet about how I found out about my high functioning autism. So grab some snacks, get into your comfy pages, grab some blankies, and let's hang out and chat together. So I found out about my autism diagnosis at age 15. Um, I found out from my high school through the resource center. My family never shared with me about my disability growing up. They never shared it with me at all because they didn't know how they were going to explain it to me so that way I could be able to understand. And they didn't know how I was going to react. And so they thought it would be better if the school told me. And that's why I found out. I was upset with my family, but as I got older, I realized, again, maybe they didn't know how they were going to tell me and maybe they didn't know how... They were going to explain it to me so I would be able to understand. And I always thought of my autism as like a joke, an embarrassment. And I just, I always, sometimes I wished I never had it. And why me? And as I got older, I, my eyes were opened up. Um, I went to this college program and... It opened up a whole new world for me. It made me scrap the term disability. It made me replace it with a different ability. Everyone has different abilities to do life in a unique way. And that is freaking awesome if you ask me. And I didn't come to terms with that until one day I was sitting in the car with my mom. And I was just crying. I was upset. My emotions were all over the place. And she said to me, my dear, you don't have a disability. You have an ability to do life in a different and unique way. And that is pretty awesome if you ask me. And never let your disability define who you are. And those words have stuck with me for a long time. And I will never, ever forget them at all. They really have touched me. And I also want to let you guys know that the, the reason I'm writing my book, I Am Worthy, and I'm publishing it on March 12th, is because a long time ago, my uncle had a restaurant. And this woman walked in, and she shared with me her son's story of his autism diagnosis and what accomplishments he has accomplished. And that really touched me. To the point where I shared with her my story of how I found out and all the unique things that I have done in my life. And I touched her. When I mean I touched her, I mean she started having happy tears come down her cheeks. And she hugged me and she said, thank you. You really made my day and you are such an inspiration, you know. And that's why I want to write my book, I Am Worthy. And that's why I can't wait to share it with you guys. Because my goal of I Am Worthy is to let other people know that, hey, I may not have gone through what you have gone through in life. But I want you to know that I'm here. I'm here to listen. I will never, ever judge you. And I will accept you for who you are. And I'm here to give you a big hug and let you know that you are not alone and that you are worthy. Those words, I am worthy, took me a long time to absorb myself because for the longest time, I never thought I was worthy. I never thought I was worthy of wonderful things in life because back then, I'm going to be honest with you guys, I was dealing with a dark cloud of depression and I felt so alone in the world. And... It wasn't until um, a couple years ago where I realized that, you know what, I am, I yeah, yeah, I have a different ability, but you know, that doesn't define who I am. And you know what, I think having a different ability is pretty darn awesome, if you ask me. And I went into this college program where they opened up my eyes to a whole new world of different abilities. The program I went into is called CICE, or short form for Community Integration Through Collaborative Education. I cannot say any more good things about that program. That program changed my life in a positive way and made me 
realize that we all, again, that we all have different abilities to do life in a unique and awesome way. And that is, that is awesome. And I hope by sharing my story in my upcoming book, I Am Worthy, I hope to let people know that, again, hey, I may not have gone through what you have gone through, but I am here to listen and I'm here to let you know that you are worthy and that you are loved and that you matter. And I'm also here to give you a big hug and that I will never, ever, ever judge you. And I, again, I can't wait for you guys to read my new book, I Am Worthy. Again, it comes out on March 12th. It'll be available on Kindle for those that like to read on their tablets, computers, and phones. And it will also be available in paperback for those that prefer a physical copy of the book. And when you guys get I Am Worthy, let me know which one you got, either the Kindle format or the paperback. And also let me know what your favorite part of I Am Worthy is when it comes out. I can't, again, I can't wait for you guys to read the book. I am super duper excited. It's almost done. And yeah, so anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed hearing a little summary of my story of how I found out high functioning autism. And I hope that you know that you are God, that you guys are worthy too, and that you guys are loved and you guys are pretty darn awesome. But anyways, that is it for this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you know when I post these new videos. As well as don't forget to hit that bell so you will be notified when a new vlog comes out for me. And I post new vlogs here on this channel at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And yeah but anyways that is it for this vlog you guys are awesome i love each and every one of you again dare to be different guys because your girl dare to be different and i will see you guys in the next one bye guys mm -hmm.